It's time to exterminate some pests. That's right. And before you get all YouTube on me, this is a bug extermination device. Nothing more. Settle down. All right, so we've had this one for well, quite some time. Shooting Kid has uh, used it to kill spiders and uh, other little insect pests things. Uh, you put salt up in here, you give it a cock. It's kind of like a Nerf gun and then poom, you know, you, you, you point it at the pest and uh, it exterminates them. This Christmas, Shooting Kid got me this. It's my very own. And it looks all tactical. Uh, let's take it out of the box. And instead of shooting bugs with it, because we know it works, uh, we're going to try something a little different. But we got to do it outside because it deals with fire. Have I told you all you got to do is hit record and airplanes start flying overhead? You've seen how these things work before, right? You got to give it a cock. Make sure there's salt in there. And then you shoot a pest. Now that's what I call hanging on for dear life. That's all there is to it. But I bet you the other one can breathe fire. Let's try it. I got these new boobs. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Took a little while to get the thing out of the box, but I did. And it even has a wear eye protection warning on it. Okay, so this could uh, be a problem. That's why I'm wearing eye protection. Wow, even have a handwritten letter signed by Lorenzo. And it has a spray pattern and target practice thing. Cool. I don't recommend you doing this at home. Remember, I'm a paid professional. Don't do this at home. How many times do I have to warn you? Don't do this at home. First off, let's go over some of the features. 3.0, rather than a little lever thing like you saw on the previous model, has a little push button thing for safety. Hmm, it's interesting. Cross bolt safety, kind of nice. Give it a little bit of a cock. It won't, it won't do anything until you push the button. It's this button right here. All right, and then That's why you need to wear eye protection. Now, we're not gonna be putting salt in here because, well, salt technically isn't flammable until you get to some crazy high 2000 degrees or something like that. So it's not gonna catch on fire. Table salt, sodium chloride is not flammable and will not easily catch fire. Salt won't even melt until it reaches 1470 degrees Fahrenheit, 800 Celsius. Uh, but what is flammable and potentially explosive it's common flour. Flour is flammable and can catch fire or even explode in some situations. This is mainly due to the high surface area as a powder, which makes for a higher to fuel ratio. I'm gonna take a teaspoon, open up my flour container, open up this container, and pour some flour down in there. Now, I don't think they would recommend doing this. There you go, kind of full. Close that baby down. Ooh, made a mess. I'll clean it up so shooting gal doesn't know. Now just to verify that uh, it indeed does uh, expel flour, we're gonna shoot it here. And it does have a little bit of flour on there. Shake it up a little bit, let's try it again. Yeah, flour does come out. Will the flour knock over our imaginary pest? It does. Okay, got the burns matic out. Got the bug assault filled with flour. Gonna shake it around a little bit. Cock it, it's ready to go. Okay, that was an epic fail. I guess the, uh, the bug assault has so much thrust, it blows out the fire. But just so that you're not disappointed,
Okay, technically, that wasn't flour. But it was fire. I couldn't get the flour to light at all. Really odd. Okay, what if I just uh, take a funnel and a hose, dump a little flour down in there, and blow it into the flame? Will that work? Uh, no flame, but it does smell like bread. Still smells like bread, and I got my camera filled with flour. Enviromagic. Now, that's what was burning. I don't recommend this. This is a cleaning product that we bought that does not clean, but it does wonderfully uh, because it's got, um, oh, it says Amazon Premium Products. That's interesting. Gonna have to look that up. Contains petroleum distillants. Combustible. <laughs> it truly is. You spray this on an anthill and you set the anthill on fire, it gets rid of ants. Just to show you how flammable this stuff is. There you go. Still burning. If anything, it might work good to uh, cook food. Oop. Get the burns matic out of the way. Black smoke. Not good. Not recommended for cooking. Wow, it's still burning. Good fuel source. I think I might have discovered something. I bet you this will work great in tiki torches in the patio. Oh yeah, that's fun. All right, went out. That was quite a long time. I think I might have discovered something. Just for giggles, and because I can, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to that, do a squirt of this. Talk about smelling like bread. I'm hungry. Not gonna lie to you, that was a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping we could have alternate uses for the, uh, for the bug assault, but it does work good to kill bugs. And we found an alternative fuel source for camping, that clean matic whatever that stuff was. Well, it was a lot of fun spending some time with you. I do appreciate you spending some time with me and uh, watching the channel. As always, subscribe, like, comment, share, do all those things, please. And if you're gonna buy from Amazon, use my link, doesn't cost you anything more, and it helps out our family. I'm gonna put a link to uh, a bug assault. I think Amazon has this, I haven't even checked. This is not, a firearm. No, it's a bug exterminator. Bug assault. A lot of fun. Okay, careful with it if you do get one. Uh, it does work to kill bugs. I will say that. 
I love you guys. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. See you. I pressed record, even indoors, and the next door neighbor dog starts barking.